Who are you, Mr. Watts? Well, my name is Peter Watts. I am a very independent character living in a small town called Selle sur Cher. I'm English, 70 years old. I've been living in France for 40 years. I lived in Germany for four years and slightly less than a year in Norway. Uh, I've been living in Selle for 12 years. I'm originally a mechanical engineer. I had a, a few small companies. I'm now retired. I have a degree in mechanical sciences from Cambridge University, an MBA from INSEAD at Fontainebleau, and I was an exchange uh, student for a year at Darmstadt Technische Hochschule. Okay, who can save cells or share? Well, certainly no politician and not even our world famous Nicolas Sarkozy. But where is Selle sur Cher? Okay, it's a small French town of 4,800 inhabitants on the edge of the Sologne area, which is a hunting, shooting, and fishing area, between Chambord, Valencay, and Chenonceau. Briefly, we're on the edge of the Loire Chateau region. Cell is famous for the Cell brand of ceramic sanitary ware and its world famous goat cheese. It's an AOP protected goat cheese. Well, first of all, before looking for a lifesaver, perhaps we should ask the question who thinks they can kill Cell or Cher? Officially, they want to close our PCT ceramic factory and lay off 180, uh, sorry, 118 employees. Including in those, there are four couples where the husband and wife will be fired. The average age of these 118 human beings is 49 years old. On the average, they have worked 24 years for PCT and 80% of them have no formal training. 10% of the retired people from this factory have silicosis. And that includes our ex-mayor who walks around town with a little oxygen bottle in a rucksack on his back. In addition, before the end of 2010, the 80 remaining employees in the logistics department will probably be replaced by the Norba Dontresson company, who already run the logistics for all the group, and who obviously have no interest in having a depot here if there's no local production. The rate of unemployment will go from the present 10 or 12 percent to about 25 percent in our town. 25 percent, that means the end of Cell sur Cher. So, but who is responsible? Who? Can we put a name to it? Well, I think I can. The only human being that I've found who I can consider as responsible is Mr. Jacob Wallenberg with his family and their charity foundations. He's the patriarch of the Wallenbergs, although he's only in his early 50s. And who is this gentleman? He's the head of the Wallenbergs. W-A-L-L-E-N-B-E-R-G who are a dynasty in the a dynasty in their country for the last five generations. But which country? Where? Where is this person? Well it 
It's a northern, it's in the northern Europe field. The Netherlands? It could have been the Netherlands, as at one time a Dutch company, Sphinx, Sphinx controlled our PCT, sold ceramics. Today it's a country a bit further north. Uh, Finland? That's almost true, as today it is Samitech Oi, a Finnish company which controls on paper PCT cell ceramics. But the marionettists who dominate Samitech are hidden elsewhere. Obviously a tax haven. I beg your pardon, tax haven? You're not supposed to talk about those. Okay. When one says taxation, they are partially right, because there's an investment fund called EQT4 sitting in Guernsey, in the Channel Isles, which owns on paper 77.5%. And the bank creditors have, six months ago, converted their loans into 22.5% of the capital of Sanitec. Sad as it is for me, as a British citizen, to say it's the British bank HBS which appears to be the most important. That's the one where the British government had to bail out to avoid it going bankrupt. Recently its chairman wanted a contractual bonus of 1.7 million euros, although the bank is still losing money. Okay, that's the HBS, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Arbia, sorry. Uh, but who controls EQT, uh, EQT4? For after all, it's they who control Sanitec. That's a more delicate question to answer because there are two aspects of an investment fund. First of all, the investors or the shareholders who give their cash to the fund. And secondly, the fund management company, which in our case is EQTAB, sitting in Stockholm, which manages at least 12 in investment funds. EQT1, EQT2, EQT3, EQT4, which interests up, right the way up to EQT10, plus a few others. But who are the investors in EQT4? According to Mr. Oscar Stig Unger, who is the communications director of Investor AB, a Swedish stoted company. Investor AB only has 6% of the shares with more than 100 other investors in EQT4. That's what he told me on the phone. However, that means that if the average is 1% and they have 6, that they are probably the largest and dominant investor in EQT4. Hmm. EQT AB at Stockholm, the other Swedish company who manages EQT4. Who dominates them? To answer that question, it took me 20 hours of research on internet to find the truth. Because on the EQT site, they indicate that although Investor AB took part in the creation of EQT in 1994, they deny formally to be controlled by them. Secondly, on the Investor AB's site, they indicate that they had taken part in the creation of EQT in 1994, but they deny that they control EQT. However, third point, the only external link on the site of Investor AB is a link to the EQT official site. And according to Mr. Oscar Stieg Unger, the communications director of Investor AB, who I have had on the phone, we have only 31% of the capital of EQT partners AB. So who should we believe? Perhaps the Commission, the European Community Commission, is credible. 